What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin D Stan and welcome back to some King Koi Gold and Love Rich. This is episode 34, I think. Yeah, go watch the previous episode if you haven't. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. I know, I know. I'll get in touch once I'm back home. My visit home. Oh my god. My visit home ultimately got pushed back to New Year's Day. It was beyond my control given how hectic everything turned out. May as well kill time however I could today and make a leisurely trip back home tomorrow. Or so I thought when. シルビー様、ごみなるはい、はい。あ、ほら、ちょうどいいところに。Sylvie had asked me to come to the academy for some reason. Everything baseball related had been taken care of. What could this be for? I bared with the cold, went to the academy, and found... Yeah. God dang! Oh. Oh,おら!やっと来た! <laughs> You look great, sweetie. My brain froze for a sec. Reina was always cute, but when I saw her in that getup, the world gored the world? What the f- I'm not on drugs, I swear. The word gorgeous wasn't a word I used off. What's with the costume? Look good. Ah, that definitely would have been the more appropriate time to have worn this. I guess they had, now that she mentioned it. Embarrassing. Why? No, no. You look incredible on in that. This was odd of me to say considering I knew you honest to goodness princess. But she was gorgeous enough to pass as a princess of some land. Wow. My girlfriend was out of this world. Wow. Rena was bashful. What was it? Maybe the outfit? Every little gesture of hers seemed prim and proper. What a turn on. Really? Would you like my coat? I'll undo my coat. Nope. Nope! True, I came here spur of the moment at Sylvie's request, so all I had under my coat on under my coat was a flimsy t shirt. We need to find a way to warm me up without using my coat, changing clothes then. A bed then? Yeah. Get in my bed. Mm-hmm. A bed. A bed it is. I took her hand and led her straight to my room. Bone in time, yo. What else would I be referring to? Going to sleep? <laughs> Sleeping is for losers. You don't want to? It's a little something for the princess. <laughs> Raina showing her shoulders. But I couldn't help but notice her grin. Now then, please follow me to bed, princess. She does look pretty great on that. Oh, I felt the flickering rays of the sun on me and opened my eyes after the boning. Nice. Oh? Reyna? She was gone. That was odd. We fell asleep here together last night. Wait, wasn't today January 1st? Wow, they slept through, uh, through their New Year's. You know what? I've done it before too. 
not missing out on much. So it was Happy New Year's then. Maybe she had gone out. Uh, I was wiped yesterday. I was exhausted all the way up until yesterday, to be precise. I dragged my lethargic body out of bed. Huh? Oh. I could hear Reyna outside of the room. She was here? Hey, Reyna. I opened the door. Oh, I like all these outfits all of a sudden. Nice, very nice. Oh,早いオーダー。ハッピーニューイヤー。明けましておめでとうございます。新年から頼んでる。と言いたいですが、日本には年正月なる習慣があるのでしたか。今日は何も言わないでおきましょう。I thought you were done talking. I'm not as surprised right off the heels of yesterday. My shock was only compounded by how many people were here today. What's going on? <laughs> it's wonderful. Didn't all of you go back to your country though? <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> Elsan seemed upset. Elsan. Or, or, don't do that. That was depressing. All three seem to like them. And I went without saying I was intrigued by their outfits too. You've really come to your own as a designer, huh? Everyone set out with Reyna at the lane. I got changed and followed after them. Who knows? What I can say is everything's gonna be great as long as you're with me, Reyna. <laughs> that was just the kind of person Reyna was. Adept at striking a balance. But also extraordinary at, if nothing else, making sure everyone was happy and having fun. Hadn't someone called it motherly love once before? Yeah, that was that one guy with mommy issues. Uh huh. Was this what they meant? She always did look incredibly trendy on the outside, though. Tough. Tough. A tough cookie to wrap your head around. <laughs> Except for the fact that it was too much fun to be with her. Hmm? Wow, that's where you're gonna end it. You could have just ended it after the shrine thing, but uh, actually that works. I'm debating about stick, skip, uh, skip the, skipping the credits. Maybe I should. Maybe not. Oh. But guys, if you want to skip this, I will be posting a timestamp right here. Go ahead and jump to that, and you'll get over the credits. I, on the other hand, well, nah, you know what? Forget the time step. I think I am going to skip it. Nice. Great. Great. We have always seen the credits. It's okay. Huh? Oh! What the? Not what I was expecting. You surprised me. Dude, he's going for the third child? God dang. They really got to work. You know what? I like how she still has those same earrings, even though they're a lot more mature now. That's nice. That's such a Reina thing now. I like that. I like that. Ah, sorry. Sorry. 
I set the newspaper aside. Okay, why don't we eat? It was another morning like any other. Our daughters had gotten bigger and we could now finally have a calm meal. We did have a third on the way though, so we'd back the hectic lap stove, pity feeding this and diapers that soon enough. <laughs> Grannies and grandpas come in City Hall at all the time, so it'd be nice if I could pick something up from today's paper to drum up a conversation. It's really tough being a civil servant. It's gonna wear your papa here out. Something told me my two very impressionable daughters were becoming a lot like Raina at their age. Is our boy out here thriving in baseball? Uh, I'm average at best and don't say I'm stereotypical. You'll understand once you're older. Ah, uh, yes. We're looking after our boy. Ah. Uh, mm. He went two for five at bat. No home runs, though. <laughs> if this keeps up, he won't earn the title of home run king this year. He worked really hard for two years to get this far, too. <laughs> Players start getting discouraged around nine years in, and I wanted to give him that extra push. <laughs> nine years? <laughs> Reyna had a nostalgic look in her eyes. Nine years had already passed since he debuted overseas. Amazing. So much had happened since then. Rain and I finally got married after a lengthy time of living together, and I found employment as a civil servant. And... Ah, oh, look at you. Again? There's been tons of them lately. Oh, that's nice. Reyna's career was panning out rather nicely as well. She and I were trawling, toiling away at our perhaps happier than average lives. I know, I was going to eat it last. I get it, you need to eat your peas too though. Uh, God dang. That's way too clean. Ren and I still acted like the same old friends we'd always been. Maybe that was why we stayed so lighthearted even after we had children. Still, I thought we made it for a happy household. Thought we could be a nice, savage family. Oh! あれが一番聞かれるんだよな。うちのブランドの一番の売りだから仕方ないけど。what a great ending. That was nice. <laughs> Man, it's really over. Oh my god. That was such a nice end. That was so wholesome. That was almost as wholesome as Sylvie's end with Odo, but I liked their end way better. And if there's a second game, if there's a sequel to this game, I wonder if it's going to be with different heroines or if it's going to be continuing the story of all these girls here i hope it is a continuation because i really want to see what goes on with reina and odo's root because man i love that that was really nice i mean they could have easily ended there i mean i'm assuming that they are not but let's suppose that they decide to end it there that is not a bad spot to end it because well i mean the end goal here is getting married with that one person right and having kids maybe with them you know family at some time though with this economy i don't know about having children you know what i mean but anyways on the serious note 
that wouldn't be a bad spot to end it. But I also wouldn't be upset to see how they are as adults and how much things have changed. Besides the fact that they have children and are going for the third child and blah, 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 blah. But just to get into the whole juicy details, you know what I mean? But man, that was nice. I love that. That was so wholesome. That was so, so wholesome. What a great route. But anyways, moving forward, it is now time for LA's route. Uh, yeah, I, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not crazy hyped about the remaining routes. You know, Reyna, Reyna's route should have probably been the last one I did, but I was just like, yeah, it, from left to right. And she happened to be the second choice, you know. But if I were to me, she'd probably be like one of the last ones, you know, because you know what, what I like to say? Save the best for last. Let's see. How do we get to the choice again? Oh, God. I don't remember. Uh, I think it was around here. Let's do some little skippy stuff. Oh, crap. Whoops. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna skip through till I get the choice options. So, uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, skip, 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 skip. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> it's gotta go way faster. Come on. Okay, that's that's not. Stop it. Stop. Stop. This has got to be an easier way to get back to that choice thing. Because I do not remember how to get back there again. There should be like a tree map, like how it was in King or in Sendran Banka and then freaking Cavalier Stella. That was the best way of doing it. Why would they not do that anymore? Oh, I guess this game came out before those two, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Anyways, ah, uh, God. Well, this is way off, actually. Actually, no, I think I'm good. I don't know. If anybody knows a way to get there quicker, I, I would greatly appreciate it. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Yeah. Oh my God. Scared the freak out of me. Alrighty, next is Big Biddy LA. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. I'm not excited for her route. Definitely not, but whatever. We're doing Ella next. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The Noble Swordsman start Ella's route. One month after enrolling at Noble Academy. Okay. Right, right. I got into the routine of doing radio calisthenics with the other dorm residents every morning. Off, crunch, crunch, crunch. Jesus Christ. Ouchie. Nibble, nibble. Munch, munch. The air was so tense during breakfast, you could almost cut it with a knife. Thanks a bunch. Uh, all right, all right, chill. Okay, thank you very much for the meal. Great. What's great? Oh, he burped. Ouchie. I did think this was my own fault. But yeah, now especially we're going to be involved with the night. That's kind of wild. I still wasn't able to... He got the princess. He got the trendy girl. Now he's <laughs> with the night. Or he will be soon. Maybe. Maybe. What if this was the one route that Ellie's like, nah, I ain't messing with you. I ain't feeling you. I still wasn't able to keep up in class. No clue. Oh, that was close. No clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I was adapting more all the time. That's nice. I'd gone through a number of life changes over the last month, but adapting to one's surroundings was part of human nature, or so I'd heard. Everything was going surprisingly well for me now. Huh? Both Sylvia and Nelson looked relieved when they heard I was more or less acclimated in my new life at Noble Academy. 
They apparently felt somewhat responsible for dragging me here without any recourse. I wasn't enjoying myself, so it was certainly a win-win situation for everyone involved. I mean, it's supposed that uh, he was forced. He definitely doesn't have to be there, still. But then, if he really was so against it, he would have left since the first day or found a way out of there. Bro knew, bro knew what he was getting into. That's why he hasn't left. And can't blame him. I could only hope the strand continued through graduation. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, Knight. <laughs> she hit me right where it hurt. I was fine with radio calisthenics and could even handle the daily beatings during Mina-chan's etiquette lessons. I think I'd done a good job of adapting to my school life, which had a rather rocky start. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up with my studies. I wasn't too bright and could never hold a candle to these students at Noble Academy, which is one of the most prestigious schools in Japan. I, I think it's fine. I avoided failing anything, at least. We'd had a test a short while back and I'd managed to pull through. Every test at Noble Academy was multiple choice and had five choices per question. Since 20 points were effectively guaranteed, I could avoid failing, so as long as I got 30 points or more. Noble Academy didn't want to produce students with failing grades or put them into supplementary lessons in the first place. The school's selling point were all their exceptional students, so I'd probably be okay as long as I didn't fail every class. I had no problem playing into the Academy's expectations in order to breeze my way through until graduation. Oh. This particularly naggy individual clearly didn't understand how I felt, though. You know what? Maybe I take back what I said. This is going to be an interesting route. Just because Ella is just so very different from Moto. Like, how is this going to work? You know what I mean? No, please don't do that. You don't need to worry about me. I didn't study much at my old school either. Oh, look. It's our Beifi from another dimension. Because this is a different dimension now. This is an alternate universe. This is the universe where, unfortunately, Reyna and uh, ourselves did not happen. <sighs> Sigh. The sun furrowed her brow and appeared to be in deep thought. To be deep in thought. <laughs> she certainly was acting stuffy today. When isn't she? Studying was just a normal part of my student's daily life and she seemed worried I was cutting corners. Her logic was sound in that it was important for a student to focus on their studies. But that'd be incredibly suffocating if that was all you did. Life was all about balance and I... B Interesting. Life was all about balance and I believed it was important to relax when the time called for it. This wasn't just an excuse not to study, okay? Why? <laughs> hey, dumb me or not, that still hurts. Sylvie. Sylvie's worries were certainly valid, albeit serious. Personally speaking, I wish they'd have let this slide. Oh, I mean, come again? Why are you being so nice? Superior, it sure is. I mean, compared to Oro, pretty superior. Interesting. You know, they say Reina has a mommy vibe, but I also get a mommy vibe from Ellie. Is that also just coming from someone that also has potentially, probably, mommy issues? Um, my grades were PP poor because I didn't review the material or prepare for lessons. But. Ellison stared at me dead on while Sylvie looked apologetic off to the side. <laughs> <sighs> Sounded like it. I went along with it and made plans to meet up with Ellison later to study. Interesting. But. 
最初に渡した公式があったでしょあれを当てはめればですね。はあ、わい、フォーミュラー。What do you mean first? 最初の問題です。ほら、これ。おお。ああ。I don't get it. We may only have been doing basic preparation and review, but our basic arithmetic skills were on different levels and we couldn't see eye to eye. This is hopeless. I tossed away my pen. But. Oh, yes. See what I mean? That's definitely way more mommy energy than the other one. <laughs> like, what person caused. Like, whenever. I, If I ever hear someone, and not that my mom ever did this, but usually from what I've seen in shows or in whatever, when a protagonist or a person's mom calls them by their full name, it's probably because they're very, very, very mad at them or, or upset. You know what I mean? So、uh, that's what I get from Mela. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I hope you do. And if you don't, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Yes? She drew in super close. <laughs> とても意義のあることです。もう少しだけ頑張りましょう。ほら、次の1ページです。Okay。Dang it! Her intensity did me in. I made it through this preparatory review session to the best of my ability. ヘロイナデイカバイエロ。イスタ、you mean Instagram? Or as I call her, エレさん。The thing that had changed most in the month since I enrolled here may have been my relationship with her. I was absolutely terrified of her at first, excuse me, but. Oh, 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 she's a spicy one. Sorry! Never mind, I was still scared of her. <laughs> but. You know what? I kind of like this. Oh no, mommy is just kicking in. Right. I'd gotten to see many sides there, and not just scary ones. How should I put this? Edison was kind, and her presence always packed quite a punch. Quite literally, huh? That was likely due to her position as Sylvie's guard, to say nothing of the constant and intimidating blowouts that emanated from her. Her stern expression and serious nature often made me fearful she'd one day come for my arm if it came down to it. However, my friendship with Sylvie had earned me some brownie points since my arrival on her kind side would occasionally shine through. That's, that's great. That's great. Stay on the brownies. I mean, the, keep the brownie points. Stay on the right side. Thanks for today. What do you mean? Yes, ma'am. Well, do. Better just take her naggy nature as part of her kindness. Then. My other mentor suddenly came back. Speaking of studying. Huh? あなたはできているつもりでも今日本に来ているのは若い騎士ばかりで手順がわからないものも多いほら外でおどおどしてますわよんミネちゃん pointed at several black student men and women who were looking our way apologetically エルさん rushed out to talk to the knights and some sort of conversation ensued between them and oh my god <laughs> Eek. Uh, even they're scared of her. I could hear Elson barking at them from here. Oh my, that, that's not very nice, Odo. She continued to speak and wore a rather stern expression on her face. Um, was it a bad idea for Elson to be my tutor? Are you sure? So basically, she took the day off to help this fool out, and this fool did not take it serious whatsoever. And so now, Heroina is、uh, probably stressed, potentially pissed, because Oro's a big, big dummy. Now she's taking it out on them. That's my theory. 
泣かされた騎士が初めての王女の直近十字と会って混乱して警戒状態と報告してしまいましたのおかげで騎士院全体が臨戦態勢私もバレエの練習を切り上げて部屋に待機するよう無理やり連れ出されましたわもう困りますわよ<laughs> I missed that stupid laugh. Last time I heard that was in Sylvie's room. That's crazy. It's been that long. That is quite some time. Whoa. The black suits lined up behind her out of nowhere. Mina Chan's brigade of. Brigade, 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 a Bugatti, a bodyguards was unusually large and he assumed some danger was afoot. So that's how it goes. Regardless, I was partially to blame and I felt a little guilty for it. Good God, she's so scary. At Elisan's command, all of the black suited guards behind Mina Chan dispersed in droves. Elisan made her way over to us. Sure. The son headed back to the state with her battalion and tell. Hmm. Not entirely sure here, but did all that mean Elisan's highly ranked guard? I had never paid any mind to Elisan's position before. I knew she was Sylvie's guard. For that matter, she had the special position of being her personal attendant. This was likely because they were close in age, and she was even able to come to school with her. However, based on her usual behavior, oh, that's crazy. She's the knight. So she's at the very top. I assumed as much, but it was still surprising. She outranked some of the adults and even had to take responsibility for the mistakes. It was high enough a position that it wouldn't make sense if she were just an attendant. I need to take a moment to read all of this because for some reason it just did not click. Even if you were to take away her title, the Ista family presides, presides over the knights. She's one of the daughters. Most of those within the knights consider her worthy of being followed for that reason alone. Oh, okay, okay. So the Ista family, the Instagram family is like very up here. Got it. Hmm. Her reply certainly piqued my interest. That curiosity prompted me to ask, does that mean Nelson's loaded? Are we talking about these? Or I've been curious about this for a while now. I didn't pay any attention since she was at suicide. Excuse me. But Elisan was refined enough to not be outdone by a princess. She was a daughter of the knights of the family in the uppermost echelons. Echelons, echelons, or those black suits that serve as Sylvie's guards, then. A well-to-do girl from the number two family. Shisuake to Istake wa meimokujo wa doukaku desu. Number two to yu hyougen wa soguimasen wa ne. Sorry, how did he refer to him again? Hold on. A well-to-do girl from the number two family. Oh, yeah. That sound was on par with royalty. How amazing was that? I'd sensed as much from Elison before, but she and Sylvie were on the same level. まあ、しかし、キシーンは王室に使えるのが最大事。そこの王座を務めるイスタケが王室たるシスアケと肩を並べるなどとは、キシーンの総意が否定するでしょうけれど。And then, how did Elisan get assigned to be Sylvie's bodyguard? なんでと言われましても、エロイナがそば使いになることを望んだからとしか、騎士の誉れは国への王室への忠誠です。シルビオ姉様が専属で従事させていることそのものが、イスタケにとっては非常に価値あることですし。Their conversation veered into the territory of
Probably not something that I'd ever comprehend then. Huh? How was it personal? She abruptly turned away, effectively ending the conversation. Maybe it was a touchy subject for her? Hmm. I only know a little bit about Edison. Yeah, we never really knew much about her. And it wasn't looking like I'd get asked the question I wanted to know most. Which, what I had gathered, was that there was some personal reason behind Edison's loyalty to Sylvie. This applied just as much when she acted as my tutor earlier. Sylvia was at the heart of every personal opinion Edison had. Held. Even her choice to act as my tutor wasn't as in, What? Wasn't out of concern for me personally. She was trying to eliminate any possible concern Sylvia would have for me. The person she invited here, though, to my worrisome grades. Worrisome grades. Mm hmm, mm hmm. What well, staggering loyalty. Actually, loyalty might not be the right word anymore. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. シルビア様、神なる様の敬語は我々がここにいる価値そのものとしれ。次失態があれば本国総監のものと思え。まあまあエル、そんな厳しく言わなくてもいいじゃない。シルビー様、甘やかさないでください。我ら騎士今シルビ
In a stroke of luck, Alice understood then. Ah. Mattak Shominga. Lokonjikun and Omeva to you mono, Kanga et and I na. Huh? My guy friends walked over and that helped to get my mind off of Alice. Ma, ma. So did they chimatskunga, you name them Ostara to Kangatara. Thank you, not a Yamamoto shut the freak up. <laughs> Why you agreeing? ふたりは甘すぎなんだよ。こんな庶民、いつでも大学にでもなりゃいい。それは僕はあくまで友情のためにですね。うん、フレンドシップ。うん。エルチ、取ったの。なんか嬉しそうだけど。いいえ。一滅だのも。随分とこの教室に慣れたと思いまして。ああ、まあね。だから俺は声を大
the true face of the gorgeous bodyguard revealed. Or so it said. There were several shots of her guiding Sylvie when she was taking a break, and likewise. <laughs> in terms of popularity in this academy, Elisan stood out even more than Sylvie in some ways when you consider her long list of female admirers. Lots of older men tend to gravitate toward the people behind the scenes, like Elisan, over the ones who often take center stage. Despite what she said, Elisan did look bothered by the pictures. Then again, there was nothing she could do about it now. No other real choice but to leave well enough alone. What's over there? Hmm? So we seemed bothered by something, but I couldn't tell what. By the way, Gaga. <laughs> Gaga, there are scissors here. Scissors, you know, a fancy tool designed to help you cut paper. This month's centerfold. I have no idea who she is. Features a very pretty lady with rather nice looking biddies. See? More like I'd want it. Mind cutting it out for me? Thanks a bunch. Snip, snip, snip. Everyone returned to their assigned seats. As for me, I double checked the centerfold that had been so graciously provided. Wish. What? Oh, it was for him. Oh, man, that's funny. After everything I'd gone through recently, I'd more or less adjusted to my new life. However, things were starting to change for those who had trouble adapting. Wait, that's not what it said. I don't think that's what it said. Hold on, let me go back. I need to go back. Hold on, take me back. Take me back. Take me back. All right, <clears throat> let's go back. Yep, we're going to go back. I more or less adjusted my new life, blah, 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 blah. However, things were starting to change for those who had trouble adapting. Okay, I read that right, I guess. Okay, great. This is a good ending point. Again. I know I said six yeah. minutes, but I'm pretty sure I did like another time. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's because we got so little rain. I felt like we had to recompensate with some of Vela's route now. Although you can't really compare the two, in my opinion. Because clearly rain is superior. But anyways. Um, <clears throat> no, but seriously. I felt like I had to recompensate for what we lost in time. Because I lost a lot of time today. Trying to record this because I had to do something and then something else came up and then i got called and then blah 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 so yeah that's what happened but anyways i don't know how long the video is going to come out to be it could be a lot longer it could be a lot shorter than usual i don't know you'll find out you can see it in your screen yeah you can see it on your screen so i don't know i'll find out till i'm done editing so uh when this is up i'll know but uh yeah <clears throat> that's all for this episode, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi Golden Lover. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really does help out the channel. It helps me out a lot. Emotionally, maybe not any other way, but it definitely helps me out emotionally. And when I mean emotionally, I mean my self-esteem. So I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you have any game recommendations, you know, visual novels, please let me know. It doesn't have to be these kinds of games, but I'm open to whatever genre surprise me but uh these genres are definitely very fun i really like like if there are other kinds of visual novels where you have choices to choose different routes i would love that too i like i just love the whole idea of choosing a route you know and getting different end results like that's just so fascinating to me because like i've said before i like to think of it as it's a alternate universe to you know to what would happen if the main character chose this at this time you know blah 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 and so forth and so forth so yeah anyways i'm out of here i'm done talking once again i'm sad that the rain is over but i'm also glad and it's been a ride and it's been great and we're not done we're probably nowhere near, we're probably like halfway done when it comes with the heroines of this visual novel so what i'm trying to say ultimately is that we're probably halfway done with this game barely after all these episodes already just halfway done barely 
but it's okay. I'm not complaining. But uh, now that the Rainer route is over, I definitely am a little sad. And it's going to be hard to look at her the same after all this time. But whatever. You know what? I'm going to pretend that never happened. I'm not going to. Um, yeah. Okay. For real. I'm done this time. Talk. I'm for real done talking this time. I swear. Anyways. Once again, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, y'all stay safe. And until next time, guys.